Hey, Chuck here from Garden Spot Acres. I'm sitting here in a cedar bench in our garden, and I was lucky it's not collapsing. Who else has trouble with carpenter bees? We have them. They're in our sheds. They're, they eat away at these benches. And let me tip this one over. Take a look at the sawdust that they've chewed out of this cedar. Let's tip it over and see where they're chewing. Check this out. Hole there, the hole there, one there, one there, and one there. Unfortunately, it's not just the hole. They go in part ways, then they turn sideways, and they'll chew it, and they'll chew pathways, and they'll have nesting sites where they lay their eggs. So I'm guessing that these two cedar posts here that are holding this bench up, I'm guessing they're much more damaged than those holes would indicate. What I'm gonna do is cut the bench apart and we're gonna repurpose part of it into a little decorative uh, garden fence. But, oh, look at this one. I didn't even see this one. Look at the holes in here. We're gonna repurpose the back end here, this part right here. And on these, I'm gonna cut these apart on my miter saw, and I'm gonna see how much damage there are. Okay, we got the carpenter bee trap. You've seen, probably seen those. Look up under there. See the holes? All the way down through there, look at them. They've made a mess of this soffit. This is totally riddled in holes. I put some touch and foam in some of them. Oh, but we've tried insecticides, bee spray, WD-40 up into the holes, uh, touch and foam to fill them up after we WD-40 them. I've used 3 8 inch wood plugs and they still keep coming back. I mean, there is no getting rid of them. But I think it's gonna be interesting to go ahead and cut this bench and see exactly what kind of damage they've done to this bench. This is the part I'm going to, uh, like I said, I'm gonna cut these off right here and we're gonna repurpose that, paint it white and use it as part of a little garden fence, little decoration. Let's stay tuned and we'll get this over to the saw. So let's go take one of these and start sawing it into pieces. Let's see how many were in here. We'll start cutting this piece here. We got a hole here, we had a partial hole here that's like filled with pollen. Well, that hole looks pretty deep. Let me cut this screw out of the way here. Look at the size of that hole. Fit my pinky in it. Let's 
Still going. And that looks like the end of it right there. Now it seems pretty soft in there. Let's see what's in that. Wet of some type. I don't know what that is. Let's grab another one and see how much damage is in those. Ah. I think I was down to the eggs right here. Let's take a look. Yep. I guess it's eggs. Food? If you know, leave a comment. It's sawdust, but it's filled with some gooey stuff. Hmm. Well, let's take another log and chop that one up. See what happens with that one. All right, you have a longer piece here. Let's go ahead and get that screw out of the way. Oh, they made it all the way over to there. Look how big those holes are going in compared to the one that's inside. The size of those, look at the difference in those. At least twice the diameter. Let's poke around in that one for a second. Oh, that one's still going. Let's cut on the other side of the screw here. Make sure I miss it. Let's cut the other way. Look at the little chambers in there. Eggs, yep, little pupas. See it right there? Hmm. And you see those little brown things. I wonder what they are. This must be some type of food for them as they hatch out. But look at those chambers. Let's cut this one. Same thing. More of those chambers. Man, it looks like peanut butter. Well, they do a lot of damage. Hope you liked the video. Would you share it with your friends and family? Subscribe and hit the like button. Leave a comment. If you know anything more about carpenter bees and how much damage, what do they do inside the, the board that they drill into? Leave a comment below. I think there were eggs in there and food. But if you know anything different, leave a comment. 
Thanks for coming along. Hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.